Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, it's Arad and uh, in this whole video we're going to check into the daily dose of tarot for 23rd of June uh, 2022nd and uh, should you be guys interested in a personal reading with me uh, checking out the, descri the description down below is going to give you a, a link to my website uh, where you can view and purchase whatever service uh, suits you best so with that said, uh, let's check on the cards uh, that we all have. And the first one for the day, that happens to be the star card. Followed by the second card of the day, which stands as the queen of uh, cups. And the final card for the day, uh, that is going to be uh, the seven of pentacles. So the elements of dignity as follow is like this what a day 23rd is gonna be uh pretty much that day is gonna put some embers on our heels trying to make us move forward if you will uh, that is because we are going to be able throughout the day or in that very same day to give an answer to the question is it worth it or is it not worth it? Whether is it worth it to take the job or not? Whether it is worth it to uh, take the lead or not? Whether it is worth it to spend time with that person or not? It's just the, the, the day is going to give an answer to that kind of a question. In either way, there will be a stir. Whether we are going to move on to the next best thing or whether we are going to move on or move forward with the thing that we decide it's pretty much it's it's worth it in in our life whichever the case guys there will be a stir and now you may ask yourself what the stir it's gonna be all about well it, it will be different for each one of us okay but um it's it's shell its shell is going to be uh, on an ideal state. What I mean is that with this stir, we will start seeing that our ideals and as well the standards we have are gonna be uh, are, are gonna start fulfilling themselves, right? So, for example, uh, should that be a stir for a new project? That new project is gonna fall within our criterias and ideals for a good successful and excelling project same thing by the way uh, follows up with relationships and so should we decide that it is worth it to start dating that person for example in, throughout this day we are to expect that uh, there is going to be a love that starts to unfold out there should we decide that is it worth being a part of that project or is it worth being a part of this of this team then we are going to see that um, like i said our ideas and our ideals and our criteria are fulfilled but not only that but it is a an, an expanding energies of what growth expanding things of growth within the work within the project and so on and so forth it's just the star card just just by a definition it's a card showing that now we don't have to worry about a thing in regards to what we wondered. Is it worth it or not? Because whichever way we decide, and that is something we're going to know throughout the day. So it's, it, here it's important to say that you shouldn't go against yourself. So you think isn't worth it, then it isn't worth it. You think it's worth it, it is worth it. Okay, And it is very important to just jump into whatever conclusion you do have. And... Uh, <clears throat> With the, with the star card, the problems and the concern regard, concerns regarding the undertaking, whether again it is the project or the job or the relationship, are going to vanish because the star card stands for a, a ending of an era of a turmoil, if you want to look at it uh, that way. And on top of that, should we talking about a business endeavor here? Should we talking about some kind of an enterprise that does not involve feelings and emotions? Then uh, all of us are going to be able to um, have a kind of like an ego sight, like looking everything from above, being able to predict and to, uh, to pretty much foretell 
okay what is gonna come next so it's pretty much as one thing goes to another or rather like one thing leads to another we will be always a three four five even ten steps ahead to then then all of us that are so that surround us or all that surrounds us and even our competition if you will uh the other elemental so this is coming from the elemental dignity seven of pentacles and the star card as we do have them both here and the other elemental so dignity guys that we do have that is going to be the star card and uh, the uh queen of cups and it is just this is a supportive person Okay, person that does support us, although they do not understand us. It's just they don't know why we are throwing ourselves into that or why we are withdrawing. No different than, for example, you're dating someone and your mother loves that person so much and you decide, you know what, I, I don't want to date that person anymore. It ain't worth it. And your mother doesn't understand why. I mean, it's such a sweet girl or it's such a sweet boy. But it is not your mother at your place, it is not her that has these, you know, abating of emotions or whatever makes you decide to walk away and to withdraw. Or you decide to date that person and your mother doesn't really see what you see in them, okay? She, she's baffled what exactly and throws you in that person but again she's not at your shoes regardless that they are going to um that this person which is by the by the way motherhood or fatherhood figurine it doesn't have to be your mother or your father but it could be someone that or is going to be someone that takes care for your cares for you just as much as your mother or your father would so <clears throat> despite that they do not understand you okay or rather like they don't see where you're coming from, they will do the best they can to support you through it. As long as you are happy, they are happy, uh, they are happy as well. And uh, also suffice to say it's important, I, I don't want to say not to be over trustworthy or, or over trusty with them, it's not like they will intentionally share secret that you share with them, but because it's a neutral to the star card, um, something may slip out of their thumb. Okay, so be mindful throughout this day. What do you share and whom do you sharing with? And finally, uh, should you be facing some kind of an emotional problems? Once again, that person is just is going to be baffled why you are you know, so upset about something or why you are so happy about something. It's just they will have a very difficult time tapping in into your human nature, understanding where you're coming from and what you are going through, whether good or whether bad. Don't judge them guys too, too harshly throughout this particular day. It is just something temporary and I do believe by the look of those cards that they are going to get in tune rather quickly and uh, just to summarize all that we should all prepare for that day um, in a sense of that concerns are going to evaporate and from there on moving forward it's just the situation that these cards manifest for is going to unfold in ideal state and so with that said this was the daily tarot guidance for uh, june 23rd Thank you so much for watching and we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.